Whenever we get together with the Wilsons, we work. Daddy said that no one is allowed to go outside. Hey, Joel, we're thinking about doing a water slide. This is a redneck water slide right here. Sometimes he gets a little into it. This is the story of my family. That's me, I'm Michelle. There's Jim Bob, my wonderful husband. And our children, Josh, Jana, John David, Jill, Jessa, Ginger, Joseph, Josiah, Joanna, Jenediah, Jeremiah, Jason, James, Justin, Jackson, Johanna, Jennifer, and Jordan. If you lost count, that's a grand total of 18. And yes, I delivered every one of them. We're not your typical family, and most everything we do, from work to play, is just a little bit different. It isn't always easy, but somehow we make it all work. We met the Wilsons through our church fellowship uh, and just fell in love with their family. August of uh, 2001, Jim Bob called and said he'd finally pulled the trigger and bought his uh, steel home kit. I don't know about to come help him. We were living in a 2,100 square foot home and we realized that we were outgrowing that and we needed more space. Clark Wilson, he can build anything and he taught us from the ground up how to build a house. It was House Building 101. It took us about three and a half, almost four years to build our house. <laughs> we learned a lot and uh, gained a lot of great skills. We never did anything in the backyard as far as like a patio and uh, we'd like to add some concrete back there and also build a basketball court so the kids would have a place to ride their bikes and, and uh, play basketball and all that stuff, so. And so, we are enjoying having the Wilsons help us now. Uh, every time he has a bigger project, he'll touch base with me if I'm able to come help, and then we, we, we love to come up and visit. They are very gracious hosts. This project has been something we've been wanting to do for three and a half years that we've not ever started, but now that Clark is here, we're getting it done. Things happen when Clark is around. When you get back over here and start scraping some of this off so we can get down to some, some firm foundation. It's gonna be very messy and very muddy for a while, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> porch grew a little bit. We, you know, Jim Bob decided that it would be good to have a sidewalk. And so uh, they had to add the frame for the sidewalk to go around to the front and just, you know, details grow and get bigger and bigger. And before we knew it, uh, we had more concrete than we thought we were going to have. Well, it's gonna get us out of the mud here. Yeah, yeah. You'll enjoy that. Especially yeah. when we get this grill thing set up on. Yeah. Every time we come up, they just move the boys out and give us the boys' room, and it's kind of like our little apartment. Cool. They make it feel like it's our home, too. Cool. And where are the boys staying? I believe they're uh, in, the bus. in the bus. Now, before they had the bus, they just camped around all during all the living room, everywhere else they can find a place. So they're, th they're thankful for the bus. Why do you guys like to help the doggers out? Oh, um, we just feel like it's our part of their ministry, and uh, we are just grateful and blessed to be able to help them, and they just are such a blessing to us all the time. They're a big encouragement to be around. They, they really encourage our family a lot. Picture it like this. This is your two windows on your kitchen right now. Which way is the house? What does your dad do for a living? He does all types of construction work, welding, construction, fencing, concrete, all that stuff. Cool. And do you know how to do all this stuff too? A little bit. Not very much. <laughs> My brothers do most of it with him. They go to work with him pretty often. We do the housework, so. But I can do a little bit. No one is allowed to go outside and play right now. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey children, Daddy said that no one is allowed to go outside and play right now. Nobody is allowed on the concrete or riding scooters um, anywhere outside. No one is allowed outside because of wet concrete. Um, concrete is uh, wet even up against the dry stuff and Daddy doesn't want the concrete to get messed up. So everyone stay inside today. Thank you. It's important to keep the children inside when any big trucks are around just because we don't want them to get in the way and get hurt. But especially when they're pouring concrete. The children wouldn't even think twice. They probably would just walk on it and get stuck in it or leave their footprints. <laughs> Do we have a buddy in training? Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer likes taking care of Jordan. I hope. <laughs> She's wanting to let everyone know. Hey, you want to tell them what's wrong? I'm fixing it to make it hard. I'm fixing it to make it hard. Look, you don't want it higher. Don't push it. Beep, beep, beep. Don't push it. Okay, beep. Sorry. Something's been going around. Friends of ours have had it, so I guess Johanna got it. So they said it's highly contagious. It's obvious. Usually it starts off with the younger ones just because they share cups, share, share food and everything. And so probably by the time this sickness is over with, then Johanna and them will probably get it again. It's happened before. Jim Bob's been dreaming about having a basketball court in the backyard. His whole idea is just for fun. He wants our children to enjoy playing at home. And so this has been something on his mind from the time we built the house.
I think about doing a water slide. How's that sound? Good. I've got that big roll of plastic that we're going to use for the construction out back. And I thought well, before we do that, we could go ahead and stretch out the plastic, hook up a water hose, and make a giant super slide. James, Justin, y'all help roll this out. How far does it go? That's real. Hey, that. Let me have this. Oh, that, that didn't have anything. Watch your foot. Move out of the way, Jason. Jason, move out of the way. Just let it roll. Down it goes. Woo! We got this great hill, add a little water, add a little soap. They'll have hours of fun. Kids, why don't y'all go ahead and go get your run clothes on and uh, go tell everybody else, okay? John right now is building a four-man swimming pool out here in our front yard. He's getting it flattened out, and then the water from the slip and slide will come down here and gather in here, so when the kids hit the last stretch, you'll feel a splash. <laughs> and just, Josh, or just I, right over there, uh, right by, the, you know, that one in the ground, is where we use this high pressure. We do the Duggar version of slip and slide. It's the Duggar size, super size slip and slide. <laughs> This is a redneck water slide right here. Slide the plastic up real quick. I've got some heavy duty uh, premium dish detergent. It's going to really get them moving. Dad got for for you guys. Wow. <laughs> These swimsuits are wholesome wear swimsuits, so we ordered them online. And um, <laughs> they're um, they have like all different kinds. They're what? modest. Modern. You get more for your money. More material than what most people get. <laughs> Come on, my I know, no bears. No bears. You 
You're gonna have to hose me out really good, guys. You're gonna have Mom, buds. I don't have to take a, I don't have to take a, a bath for my poison ivy anymore. Yeah, what do I you can know? go down in the valley. You should be dried up in no time. That yes. Much soap. Well, at least we know they're gonna be clean behind the ears. <laughs> yeah, from head to toe. Me too. <laughs> Everybody, come here. Hurry, Joy, come here. Mom and Dad have an announcement to make. I was trying to watch what I was eating uh, to lose weight, and the weight just wasn't coming off like it normally would. And I also noticed that when I would nurse Jordan, um, she would fuss, and and typically when my nursing babies would begin to fuss and cry while they're nursing, it was usually an indication that my milk had changed, which usually meant that I was pregnant. <laughs> and I thought, I'm just going to find out on my own. I'll not say a word to anybody, not even Jim Bob at this point. I thought, surely I'm not. I'm probably not. It's probably just my age or whatever. And uh, so I took a test right in the middle of the day, in the middle of the afternoon, and really didn't even think that it would be positive just because I just didn't think it would. And I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that I was. <laughs> I think he was about as surprised as I was, and um, he was so excited he couldn't hold it in. You know, he was uh, ready to tell the children right then, and so we did. 19 kids and counting. <laughs> wow. There's another little baby, brother or sister. What would you think about James? Hey James, what would you think about having a little baby brother or sister? Brother. I was not expecting that. I was thinking, you know, my dad ordered an ice machine or that's what I was thinking. I was not expecting that. That was really cool. Well, I think we surprised him. She surprised me earlier. She <laughs> pulled out this little uh, little Mama. test tube here and said <laughs> pregnancy test. Mama, and uh, I was so surprised and so happy. And yeah. John, kill the water for a minute. Is Josh in here? Well, I was thinking the baby's due date might be April, the middle of April. Wow. Hello. It's hard to keep a secret around here. Okay. So. She told me about two hours ago. I just couldn't hold it in. <laughs> hey, is this Josh? Hey, Josh. Is Anna with you? Is she there? Can you both hear? Oh, did Joy? Okay. <laughs> Joy already called. Well. You anyway, slipped one in on it. You're fast, you know. Joy. We wanted to let you guys know we're expecting. Hey, tell me you got some competition. <laughs> well, my mom and dad were out here telling everybody, and when I right as I heard, I was like, oh yeah, I, could, I should go tell Josh and So I went and called them, and then mom and daddy, I didn't ever knew, but um, mom and daddy were gonna call them anyways. But um, I called them first, and I told them. <laughs> We really know how to keep the series going, Jim Bob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, John. Everybody. Were you shocked? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I was shocked earlier. She she just said, can I talk to you for a minute? And she took me in the bathroom, and uh, we were talking about something else. All of a sudden, she said, said your father again. I was just, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I didn't, it wasn't even on my radar screen. And, and uh, 
Anyway, I'm so excited though. This is really neat, John. You're a good big brother, John. Um, it's very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, either I'm pregnant or I'm just getting old and I'm not able to lose weight like I used to. It is in the hands of God, as far as we are concerned. Um, by His grace, I'll carry a baby, and by His grace, I'll give birth to the baby, and by His grace, we'll be able to take care of that child, however uh, that works out. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy, Michelle. Me Thank too. you for another <laughs> child. Oh, You're the most oh. incredible woman in the world. Oh. Love you. Mm -hmm. And 25 years of marriage. Just, yeah. Isn't that something? Just, I know. Wow. <laughs>